It's the second day here in Allagash. Um, not too much happening the first day. It was just small deer, small tracks, and uh, didn't really see anything that got me too excited. Um, I've been driving around all morning. It's probably getting close to noon right now. Still, I wanted to get away from town because I think the littler deer are just kind of wintering up and that's why I'm seeing all the little tracks. So I wanted to just get away, far away, and just hope to find a lone buck somewhere that it could just be me and him one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, couldn't find a track all morning. I'm in a new spot driving around the roads today and I cut like a smallish, medium-sized track. But figured it was getting late. I need to stretch my legs and I'd follow that around. Probably followed it for 50 yards off the road and I cut a huge track. It's pretty old though. I haven't followed it very long. I don't have a good read on it yet, but I know it's just a big old track. So even if it is really old, I'm probably just gonna keep following it until I can't anymore. Um, Cause I, he's probably tired, probably gonna bed down a lot. That's the last week of muzzleloader up here. So uh, there's a good chance he's gonna be easy enough to catch up to today but I'm gonna need to get going on it pretty quick and catch up to a couple of his beds because it's already noon but anyway here's the track So I'm gonna get going on this track now. It's a real windy day. The snow is a little noisy, but not, but not bad, especially with this wind. So hopefully the wind keeps up and uh, hopefully I can keep tracking this buck the rest of the day. Maybe even a couple more times before I catch him. I'm in the middle of a cut right now, and his track isn't that filled in at all, even with the wind. So that bed definitely freshened him up a bit. So when I crossed the road, couldn't see his track at all.
of other people tracking him, but for some reason they give up on his track. This may not even be a bend. This kind of looks like a scrape. Weird. Spooked in this bed. This track's a lot fresher now, though. He's doing a fast walk. Alright, he's back walking.
Well, couldn't make it happen on that big buck today. Uh, I picked him up at about probably, I don't know, 10.30, something like that. And it was just a massive track, so I just, I really wanted to take it because I haven't seen a big track like that in a while. And especially right in this new spot where I'm hunting uh, up here in the Allagash. So I figured I could probably catch up to it. I moved right along and I uh, found a couple of beds. I figured it might be bedding quite a bit this time of year. And it uh, didn't bed as, quite as much as I thought, but it bedded enough and uh, two beds, I think. The first bed I gained some decent ground on them. And then uh, I think someone else bumped them out of the second bed just before I got to it. Cause there was some fresh tracks, uh, human tracks, hunter tracks. Uh, tracking the buck I was on and uh, they'd only go on it for like 20 yards and then peel off of it and then I got excited and then uh, like 50 yards later they'd hop back on the buck and start tracking it for another 20 yards and got discouraged but then found out that they stopped tracking it again so uh, and then 50 yards after they stopped tracking the buck they bumped it out of its bed it was only bedded 50 yards from where they were and uh, so I followed the running tracks for a little ways and uh, he eventually calmed down and I thought I was going to get him on top of a mountain but somehow he must have seen me coming up the mountain uh, at a pretty close distance. I must have just not seen him or maybe the wind gusting, the wind was gusting in a way that he could smell me or something because he started running again off the top of the mountain and down the other side and I tried to cut him off at the road and I did, I found his track, but it's three o'clock now and he wasn't running when he, he was fast stepping but he wasn't running when he came across the road so I figured I'd let him cool down for the night and maybe I could try to pick that track up again tomorrow bright and early and uh, hopefully you bed it down a couple more times and I can, I can catch right back up to him because that's a good track that I want to stay on so unless I see something big on my way in in the morning from the road but anyway that's going to wrap it up for today never even caught a glimpse of him surprisingly but Felt like I had, felt like I had some pretty good chances today to see him. I just didn't quite come together, I guess. 